Now the alley oop and throwing it down. Gets the M1 for three. Oh, what a block. Look at the rim. Wide open three again. And there's the lob and there's the finish with the raw. Four groups, 16 teams, eight will advance to the final stage. Don't miss it. Welcome to a new edition of the BCL Mag Show. Postseason is coming, and here's how to get ready for it. Spoiler alert, players want to go all the way, and they are laying out their best plans in plain sight. Postseason breakdown, contenders, underdogs, and players to watch. All you need to know before it begins. BCL Easter eggs, behind the scenes footage, fun features and best plays. Your BCL mag is fully loaded. You may have watched the draw live. Some of the teams did too, even if that meant postponing practice for a few minutes. Come on, let us take you to Israel, live with Holland players. What's up guys, it's Freddy Bourdillon from uh, Apoel Holon. We are inside the locker room. Uh, Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, friends of the Basketball Champions League. These 16 teams will be split into two parts. The Basketball Champions League uh, winners of 2019. Uh, I think it makes everybody in this locker room want to be there. It kind of gives me like NCAA, NCAA tournament feels. Next team drawn is Hapoel Unet Credit Holon from Israel. First time they make it at this stage of the competition, they will be going into Group I along with Tofas Mursa, Happy Casa Brindisi, Pinar Karsiaka. Hi, coach. What do you think about the draw? Uh, for sure, whatever group we will decide, we will, I mean, draw. It will be the difficult. Karsiaka and Tofas and Brindisi, for sure, the two Turkish team I know very well. Brindisi, we didn't play lately. They're doing well in the Italian league. Definitely it's a good, tough group. But since we beat the finalists, uh, like the last uh, final eight, I, I think we can beat everybody. Thanks, coach. It's time for us to let you go back to practice and take a look at the draw results. Four very different groups, a unique combo of three former champs, a handful of powerhouses, plus hungry rookies. As promised, let's break it down in depth, group by group. We begin with Group I, the Rookies group. Four teams with the exact same 4-2 record. And a first ever postseason appearance for all teams, but one. The only team with BCL Sweet 16 experience is Karsiaka, the second best defense of the league. We're definitely a defensive-minded team. Um, we just want to get as many as many uh, stops as we can. Uh, we know that leads to easy transition and easy basket. I think we're just hitting our, our stride as far as really playing good basketball as a team. We're a very deep team, um, and we can we can definitely hurt you in a lot of ways. I'm very excited about our draw, and I think that uh, we have, have a great chance to advance as well. Hapoel Holland, Brindisi, and Tofas Bursa are all in uncharted territory. Among this underdog's trio, the other Turkish team, Tofas Bursa, is well aware of its current status. Karşıyaka uh, beat us twice in Turkish league, so they are, you know, very tough opponent. Uh, it will be, you know, very hard group stage. But don't count Tofas out just yet, especially if they can play at their own pace. Our coach, he likes to play uh, fast break basketball. And Akun Pursen and Tari Flip, those guys are, you know, open court players. They make our job very easier uh, with the fast break points. Case in point, the Turks score 16 points per game on fast breaks. Now you know. Plenty of players to watch, but just in case, here's a short list. Raymar Morgan is the offensive threat from Karsiaka third best scorer of the league, averaging more than 19 points per game. Amat Mbaye, the Frenchman, is adding 15.2 points per game. As for Tofas Bursa, one name stands out. Devon Akun Purcell, averaging 18 points. Quick look at the group's calendar. 
first game on the road for Hapoel Holon facing Brindisi. And the Turkish duel, Karsiaka versus Tofas Bursa. Would you reveal your go-to move? The BCL stars are sharing it all with you. I don't know if I should say it. No, I'm kidding. It's probably like a fadeaway, mid-post fade. Queen cross into a into a hezzy pull for three. Just get a bucket. Crossover. Drive left. Drive left into the left hand layup or a right hand hook shot. I shoot, well, shoot a lot of threes, but um, in the post, I like doing uh, hook shots a lot. A hezzy pull up or um, just like a mixture of a mixture of moves. A hesitation. Every time. Hesitation. Killer crossover and uh, hesitation. It's probably the in between the leg crossover. All my moves I used to do when I grew up, I don't use them anymore. So <laughs> it's, it's, maybe it's a make a pass. <laughs> it's just a quick spin move to the baseline, and I usually catch my defender off balance. Pull up from 30 feet. <laughs> That's what go-to moves are for, scoring buckets. Last year's MVP, Keith Langford, is still the best. More than 21 points per game. Bonzi Colson from Strasbourg, over 20 points. Third, Karsiaka's power forward, Raymar Morgan. D'Angelo Harrison and CJ Harris, also on this list, both from Group I. In BCL history, only four trophy winners, and two are in the same group this year. Tenerife, the first ever champs, and San Pablo Burgos, the defending champs, and recent Intercontinental Cup winners. Impossible to look past them on any discussion relevant to this group and beyond. Once you've tasted victory, you want more. And both Spanish teams are blunt about it. It took me so long to, to get a trophy that matters in Europe, you know, and now that I've won two so far in six months, it's like I want to keep one of them. Of course, our plan, like, every every year has been, like, we want to compete and be the best. So, you know, our main goal is to win the, win the championship. It's hard to win a title. It's even harder to retain it. No one has ever won back-to-back -back BCL titles. We're trying to be the first. We know what it takes to win. We've been in a position to win. We know it's going to be hard. It's not going to be easy to, to win back to back. Um, but uh, I think we we have the team to do it. Problem for Burgos. Tenerife do too. I think we've been close also last year. You know, I, I think we are more complete team, if you would say that. And I think we have the experience also what we need to, to play in these kind of tournaments. We prepare ourselves very well uh, for every game, and uh, I think this is a good advantage we have uh, over most teams because I think uh, you know our game plans are are, are very uh, strict, and we have a lot of information, and we try to use this as much as we can. Tough challenge ahead for the underdogs, but there's a silver lining. You know, the pressure isn't on us. You know, the pressure is on the next opponent. I think it'll just make us play better. They've been where we want to go. So I think, you know, if we can if we can beat them, that gives us confidence and and just playing well against them will give us the confidence we need to, to know that we could win the whole thing. Watch out, Omar's coming. Omar Cook, best passer of the competition and reigning champ, is a man on a mission adding another trophy to his recent collection. Sasu Salin is also on the list. The Finnish shooting guard, averaging close to 16 points per game in 25 minutes. Round of 16, Group J kicks off on Tuesday, March 2nd. Home game for Burgos versus Riga. Away game for Tenerife at Igokea. There are many nice duos in the BCL, no doubt. But one particularly stands out. Michael Kaiser and Kyle Ullman, a.k.a. Kai and KJ, have been no strangers to Riga's success. The secret for that? The Kings of the North are pushing each other towards a common goal, greatness. We want each other to be great, so I think that's why it works well. I try, try my best to give him pointers, you know, to be the best player he can be, and I know he's going to push me. 
For some, it can take weeks, months sometimes, to build chemistry. For the two of them, the connection started before they even got to the team. Riga had posted that he signed, like they, they posted like a highlight, and it was like full of just dunks and blocks. And I was excited for that because I had somebody to throw lobs to. I messaged him on Instagram when I signed. He had already signed, and I told him I was excited. And, you know, once, once we played together, we just like clicked. And... and we can tell. Of the 19 assists Kaiser received this season, 16 came from Allman, and six were alley -oops. Now 3-1 break, alley -oop. passing! It doesn't take long! It gets the momentum going. Like, it gets you hype, it gets the bench hype, everybody's in the game after, after we throw a lob. But so, is there a better one-two punch in the league right now? <laughs> no, I don't, I don't think so. Nah, no, I, don't, I don't think it's, it's I don't, it, nah, nah. I wouldn't say that, but, um, you know, we're just gonna keep on just doing what we're doing right now. We'll see at the end of the season. Since Kai and KJ are our BCL dynamic duo, we had to put them through the test. Let me give you a couple of seconds, let me see. Oh, goodness gracious. Who is that? <laughs> how, much, how much time do we have? Okay, I'm ready. Batman. Rob, Rob. Oh, come on. <laughs> Sherlock Holmes. Oh, oh wait. Oh, no. Sherlock Holmes. Oh, I forgot his name. Carl Malone. That was John Stockton. Stockton. <laughs> oh, <my God. laughs> Shout out La Tech, man. La Tech University. Dr. Jekyll. Mr. Hyde. What's that from? Kareem Abdul Jabbar. Well, Matt Johnson. Say <laughs> Tom. Say Tom, yo. Who said it first? Woody. Uh, 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 Jordan. Pippen. <laughs> Macaroni. Cheese. I'm not gonna know. Man, come on. I'm not playing. Shaq. Kobe. Kobe. Come on, I'm locked in. No, come that on. wasn't you, that was me. That was me. Who got that? Snoop Dogg. Dr. Dre. What? Yes, sir. Shout out West Coast. SpongeBob. Michael Kaiser, the Batman from Riga, grabs 8.5 rebounds per game. Miro Bilan, second, 8.2 rebounds per game. Sam Decker from Ankara and Yanis Morin from Strasbourg, both 7.7, .7, followed by Hayden Dalton, another ace up Nimberg's sleeve. Batman loves height. Michael Kaiser, best rebounder and also the best BCL shot blocker. The young Icelander, Trig V. Linason, keeps up. Chase Feeler and Steven Zimmerman both denied 1.5 shots per game. David Kravish is ranked fifth. There are so many great plays to choose from that instead of a top five, we've decided to go for a top ten in two parts. Here we go. Shots up in the corner, it's good for three! What a finish! He got it, he took it! At least he's not good, I have a problem. Oh, baby! Nicholas oh, Rossello oh, said no in me, Casa! Oh, he gets in and then throws it down. Look at this. Long pass over the Rubon. Oh, he gets rejected at the line by Simmons right at the rim. Moves himself to 10. Taylor. Oh, lovely little over the head pass. Gets it to Morgan, who finishes it off. Group K is the redemption group. Four teams that this year, for one reason or another, are looking to redeem themselves. Eliminated by Dijon in last season's final eight, Turk Telecom have unfinished business to take care of. It didn't really felt like we finished last season, so that's why I wanted to come back and compete for a championship. We just reloaded and signed some more new, new great players like Sam Decker, you know, getting back Nick Johnson and uh, 
for us, you know, we just want to, we just hopefully this could be the year. We all have this mindset of uh, we know what we're capable of. And every time we play a game, you can see it, it on every everybody's face, you know, like, hey, we, we need this one. You know, we're definitely going in with the mindset of that. And, um, that won't stop until we get to the, to the championship. You know who else won't stop until the championship? Ike. And it didn't take long for their newest player to understand. You could just tell that, that they're on to something big and uh, everyone works hard and, and everyone takes it very serious. Last edition's final still stings, but the veteran team knows how to learn from it. And that's what everyone does here. They, they go on to the next day and, and try to do something different that they didn't do the other day or the other practice or the other games. You know, it's, it's a lot of maturity on this team. With two contenders like Ankara and Ike, more than ever, the underdogs will have to beat the odds. My teammate Alex Gavrilovic, we talked about who we didn't want to play. And Ike was one of the teams he said, I think Church Telecom was one of the teams he said. And then the next day I said, yeah, bro, all the teams that you named are in our group. Thanks. But I'm excited, though. It's, it's to be fun. If there's one player on everyone's mind, it's got to be the reigning MVP. Heath Langford. <laughs> That's my reaction. <laughs> He's one of the best scorers in Europe from the American standpoint, maybe ever. Being able to be face to face is going to be pretty cool. Lucky <laughs> bestie. <laughs> With his size and skills, Bonzi Clutch Colson is almost impossible to match up. You also want to keep an eye on Ike's latest recruit, Daryl Macon. The 25-year-old from Arkansas could be the X factor for the Greeks. In Group K, the battle for redemption begins on Tuesday, March 2nd. Turk Telecom versus Strasbourg. And the next day, Nizhny Novgorod hosting Ike. We told you, Turk Telecom are on a mission this year. And with only one loss so far, they've been living up to their expectations. Kyle Wiltshire is playing at an MVP level. Sam Decker is a tremendous recruit. Nick Johnson is back to lead the team on both ends of the floor. But the Ankara squad is much more than a mere addition of talents. It's definitely a brotherhood between us because we came in the season not having to meet each other, and we've already kind of been familiar with how each other play. Me and Kyle played in high school together, and we, we've been on a team for the last year and a half together. So, I mean, we, we've had that, that connection for a while. Sam, Kyle, and Tyler all played together with the, with the Rockets. When Sam got drafted to the Rockets, I was there. We, we were together for a little bit. And of course, it helps. When that's your, you know, your brother, you know, someone who you really uh, want to see do well, then, I mean, when he makes a shot or when he, you know, when, you know, makes a big play, like you're, you're genuinely happy for him. When we're on the court, if someone messes up or does something, we're, we're, we feel comfortable with challenging each other and, you know, just being there for each other off the court too. Don't get it wrong. It hasn't been a walk in the park, but you know, the thing about challenges, they make you stronger. When Tyler went down, it really hurt us. He was such a pivotal point of our team, you know, being a point guard and getting us all involved. And But we adapted, you know, um, we didn't, we tried to just stay positive and we have a lot of talent on our team. So we just continued to fight. And same with Michael Eric leaving, you know, he was a huge part of our team. Every little, you know, thing has brought us together. Um, it's made us stronger and uh, more durable for, for down the road. You know, people are gonna have to step up, next man up mentality. And when that next man is family, there's no doubt it will give Turk Telecom an edge onto the next round. Routine often rhymes with success. Discover the player's own recipes. Oh, definitely have to take a nap. The biggest thing is getting a pregame pasta made by my wife. You know, I always get a text from my dad. Um, he sends me a Bible verse. I watched the movie A Butter Rim. I always play Candy Crush before the game. Meditation. Always meditate. It helps me relax. Have to take a shower before pregame. Left shoe before the right shoe. You put your right sock on and your right shoe first to get out on the right foot. I use always the same, um, you can say, tights. 
the same socks. Uh, Everybody know don't talk to me before the game. I have to go to the bathroom three minutes before every game. Am I superstitious? Yeah, absolutely, 100%. I hate it. I honestly hate it, though. Group L, the usual suspects group. They've been there and done that, and of course, they want to do it again. And here's the catch. In that last group, all are contenders. Bros Bamberg, the only undefeated team, best defense of the league. Saragossa and Nimberg, both at last year's final eight. All already quarter finalists, including Sassari. And there's one more thing they all agree on. We can win this. I think we have a chance. Obviously, we're targeting to, to advance to the final eight. I think we got a big chance to, to go in the final eight. Estar en de los ocho significaría ir a por todas, ir a por el título. Queremos ganar la BCL. Pero primero tenemos que entrar ahí. Then comes the next question. How? Nah, it's so simple. We are really good in offense. <laughs> All the players got confidence. <laughs> and sometimes, you know, like, we relax in defense. If we want a, a bit like the best team in, in uh, BCL, we have to grow up, especially in defense. I think if you play defense, you always have a chance, you know, and uh, um, if we can keep this, uh, you know, this defensive rating up with our uh, offensive efficiency, yeah, you know, you never know what we can do. Being consistent for all 40 minutes with our energy, our effort, and our attitude and approach um, is something that we need to work on. Somos un equipo que hace mucho daño en, en cancha abierta, lo us, usa bien los primeros siete segundos de la posesión. Ahora queremos dar una, un, un salto de calidad en la ciencia del juego, en el 5 contra 5, que ahí fallamos muchas veces. First of all is to think outside the box, always to try to see what kind of things we can do uh, unique uh, regarding the style. But staying humble and hungry enough to, to keep working for it, realizing that, you know, what we did in the first part was great, but everything starts over. You know, it's a new season, it's a new group. Marco Spisu, brilliant passer with more than seven assists per game, might just be an even better shooter. And in case he's having a bad night, Miro Bilan is there to dominate the paint. Wojtek Ruben, the Czech forward, 16.8 points per game, will once again lead Nimberg. Group L knows the drill. First game on the road for Bamberg at Nimberg, and Sassari at home taking on Saragossa. It's the tale of an Italian pair. Two men, two leaders, sharing a special bond. I can really say that he's like my son. I love him as a person, as a coach. Uh, we know each other so well. He uh, gave me everything. First and foremost, Gianmarco Pozzeco offered him the chance to shine. Because what we see of Marco Spisu now, the coach had seen it from the start. He's one of the best point in Europe right now. I said this like two years ago when he was like really young, when I came in Sassari and he doesn't play uh, many minutes. The first practice, I went through uh, to the to my management and I told them like this point guard is really good. What he didn't know back then was that the more responsibility Spisu is given, the better he plays. Uh, under pressure, he become better. Uh, he can give his best, and this is, in my opinion, is like the best quality for a, for a basketball player. And Coach Pozzeco knows what he's talking about. I played as point guard all my life, and so. Uh, I have the feeling that uh, he gave me credit, you know. Both men share the same position, the same passion. Any difference? You're I'm like... not crazy like him. <laughs> he is Sardo. Sardo is is from Sardinia, you know. And uh, Sardo is like a particular kind of, of person. They are really tough, you know. <laughs> but in the same time, he is so sweet. I was born here, so... I got different responsibility from another player. Every day that uh, I go on the on the on the gym, I have uh, I have the jersey of my city, so it's so important for me. Spisu, only 26, has a bright future ahead of him. He's tough, talented, and competitive. Maybe too competitive. 
The only bad thing that I can say about him is like that he beat me all the time uh, when we play FIFA. Oh, he beat me 3-0, 4-0. He joked with me and this is not good. <laughs> While we're at it, here are the best passers of the league. Omar Cook, delivering close to eight assists per game. Nick Johnson from Turk Telecom at 7.3 assists. Marco Spisu, the Italian rising star from Sassari, ranked third, ahead of Kyle Allman and Ivan Strebkov. Best for last, best plays of the regular season, part two. Yes, we're already looking forward to the playoffs. In the meantime, enjoy. With us, oh, rejects it! Flies up high and swats away Todd Withers. And it's pulls up, Hal Murray. It's going! It's going! It's going! You've got to stop DJ Kennedy in transition. Oh, he's going to go all the way! Now, Madsen drives it! Oh, goodness me! Did you see that? He put it down with some thunder. Look at this! Colson, he puts it up for three! Yes! Bonte Colson wins the game! Unbelievable! The road to the final eight has already begun. First games on March 2nd. Stay tuned. For more, follow us on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram at BasketballCL.